guys? Mike here with Pints and Pistons, and today we're about to go into a new uh, segment that we're uh, trying to go into, and it's uh, basically a build breakdown of a whole bunch of cars. So I would like to start off uh, the segment with my 86. Alright guys, uh, as most of you Pines and Pistons fans know, this is my 1986 Mustang GT. Uh, I have owned it now for the last five years, I believe. Four, uh, almost six years, I believe. Eh, it's right around five or six years. Um, she's my baby. Uh, it is a 1986 Mustang GT. It is Oxford white over Canyon Red interior. Uh, I am the technically the fourth owner but in florida's uh the state of florida being registered i am only the third owner it was bought new in gainesville uh, january 1987 which is only about hour north of me uh then it went in the mid 90s got sold to a couple in orlando that had it until i believe it was 2011 the guy I bought it from traded his 69 uh, Cougar X, uh, his Cougar, I forgot what Cougar was, it was one of his Cougars, um, for for this, but he never registered it. Uh, he just had it sitting next to his house, um, just basically drove around the property, he had a couple acres, uh, drove it around for like a year just to keep it going and that. Never did register it, so I ended up buying it from him when I registered it, I'm the third register owner. I have the build sheet for it. I ended up finding that. Uh, when I got it, it was completely stock. Still had stock exhaust, stock shifter, everything. Uh, actually, right now, it just has shorty headers, off-road H-pipe, and exhaust, and a short throw shifter. That's it. Still has the factory camber caster uh, rivets in it. So it's never been in a major accident or anything like that. So it's never had to have the um, camber adjusted any major way. Um, still has all the buck tags, the buck tag on their rear axle, all that stuff. And it's just, she's beat to crap, but it's one of those, she's my beat to crap, uh, little, little girl. And it's just, she absolutely means everything to me. So, uh, I'm gonna go through, uh, some of the stuff in it, interior, stuff like that, show you underneath the hood, and, uh, hopefully you like it. Alright guys, well, this is the under hood of the Infinite 86 of Apopka. Um, as you can tell, it is mostly completely stock. Um, different distributor cap, wires, rotor, all that stuff, you know, just normal maintenance. I do still have the factory airbox with tubing on there. The silencer has been removed. Um, it has actually been proven that compared to a cold air intake that would be metal, this rubber keeps the temperatures, uh, intake temperatures down and with the silencer removed, it's actually the same hole that would be on a normal uh, cold air intake. So why fix something that uh, isn't broken? And it, I actually prefer the plastic look of this. I think it looks better than the metal because a lot of those metals end up uh, corroding really bad within the first year and it just doesn't look as good. Um, it has a full smog delete. There is no smog pump down there. We have also, you can see right there, we have deleted the backing pipe off of the heads and completely blocked them off. That was uh, the pipe of that ran from the smog pipe, all the, uh, the smog pump, all the way back to the heads. Uh, that's gone. The EGR is still there, but that is just there because I have not gotten the block off plate yet. Um, but these are the factory rivets and the casting camera plate that I'm still talk. I was talking about earlier. And like I said before, I still have my buck tag, and that in the Fox Body world, and actually the Mustang world, is a very hard thing to come by. So, uh, yeah, so that's the underhood of it. Okay, guys, so this is the interior of the 86. As you can tell, it is canyon red, or as me and Brian like to call it, 
whorehouse red interior. This is all stock interior. Uh, as you can see, there's only you know, a little blemish there and a little blemish there. But besides that, I mean, the cushion is a little blown out. But this is an all stock interior, all stock uh, inside, uh, besides radio. But I mean, she is super clean in here. And she is wonderful. Even got a Warping map light. It's from a different car, but uh, haven't painted it yet. But it works. And you don't see that very often with these cars, especially with the four eyes. All right, guys, moving to the back of the car. This is uh, the speaker grills are also another thing that I just picked off of a parts car to get the original coverage back on that. Still have not made that the uh, interior color, but. This piece right here, this is, if you own a Fox body, you know this is gold. This is, I mean, the handles are a little bit faded on it and that, but that's gold. This is the original factory spec. It is not a uh, aftermarket replacement. That is their original cargo cover for the car with the speaker grills cut out so that way you can still hear your music in that. To find something like that that even still rolls back, that's... That right there is worth the price of the car. So, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd share that with y'all. Hey guys, uh, that's the little build breakdown on the 86. Uh, not gonna be as uh, detailed as uh, some of the other guys, and the edit on it is probably not gonna be as good as if uh, Dan had done it. But I just wanted to get one under our belt so that way we can uh, show people. Hey, we're going to have more of these coming. We already got a line of people showing up saying, hey, we want to have a build breakdown done of our cars. So uh, keep a lookout on the Pikes and Pistons YouTube page. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell so that way you get all notifications of it. Also hit us up on, uh, on Facebook. You will see that we have a brand new logo. And we are working on some other shit with that. So uh, keep a, a lookout for us. And we hope to see you there. Thanks, guys. Oh, also... 100 subscribers. As soon as we hit 100 subscribers, we are going to be doing a uh, car care kit giveaway. So make sure to look at on that. Make sure to hit the subscribe right now. I think we're at 80 subscribers, so 20 more, and we will be giving away a car care kit. And it's not going to be crappy stuff like Armor All. It's going to be really good stuff that us and the guys actually use on our cars, so you're going to love it. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.